In this video, we would like to present our work, Multiscale Softmax Cross Entropy for Fovea Localization on Color Fundus Photography. The loss is applied on the segmentation style output, with the same size as the input fundus image, because we are planning to exploit the same feature for other tasks in the future work. Two coordinate vectors, representing x and y axes, are obtained with a reduction operator, such as sum or mean. The final fovea coordinates can then be calculated with two sparse categorical cross entropy losses, respectively. Here is an overview of the backbone network and the loss construction. We use a modified U net architecture with residual blocks, and the additive MSCE loss is calculated based on multiple pooled features. Now we are applying the multiscale version of a representative probabilistic loss, cross entropy, in a regression task which however, used to deal with the classification tasks. On the right side, different loss functions are compared with a toy example, where we assume the 70th of a 256-dimensional vector as the ground truth, and the normalized loss values are calculated for each possible prediction. Figure A illustrates MSE, a representative regression loss, which progressively attracts the wrong predictions to the ground truth. In the case of vanilla cross entropy in figure B however, the incorrect coordinates have been opposed expressly and unanimously, no matter where they are located rather than the ground truth. The proposed MSCE is expected to neutralize the characteristics of mean squared error and cross entropy, which not only distinguishes the predictions in a stepwise regressive manner, but also drastically encourages the prediction to converge towards the single actual ground truth, without decreasing the reward ratio. The desired feature can be better approached, if the number of the multiscales, m, is set to the maximum, namely 8 in this case. In the experiments, the proposed multiscale softmax cross entropy outperformed both its monoscale version and the mean squared error loss, with max pooling and sum as the reduction operator. On the right side, we can see the more accurate prediction of MSCE with an example of a common scenario. In figure E, a failed case has been shown, where the optic disk instead of the fovea has been located in the center of the fundus image. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Any further discussions via the following email address are always welcome. Thank you for watching.